What's up guys? I'm gonna run speed test and packet drop test on five different category cables. Got the Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 6a, Cat 7, and Cat 8. All of these cables are at 100 feet or 30.5 meters and my equipment can handle speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. So I'm gonna run a local speed test using iperf3. So I'm setting up my Windows computer as a server. So that's the command I type in right here. And on the other computer, which is the Mac mini, all I need to do is go to the IP address of this computer, which happens to be 192.168.1.43. So when I press enter on this, when I press enter on this, I'm using the CAT8 cable, by the way. So we're starting off with the CAT8 cable. This is a regular test, and we got 9.4 gigabits per second download. So now if I switch over to the Windows machine, we could see that it pretty much got that because it's connected um, to this as the server and the Mac is the client. They're going through a 10 gigabit switch. And again, everything within my network, my Mac mini and my Windows uh, machine can both support 10 gig, uh, up to 10 gig speeds. Now, let's try a packet drop test. So we're gonna type in U, we're gonna pick some random port and I'm kicking it off with 10 gigs. It, defaults down to 5.82 so it slows down and uh, we got 26% lost which is pretty high so we're gonna try it we're gonna slow it down to 4 gigs so when I do dash B I do 4G I slow down the con connection to 4 gigabits per second so at 4 we're down to 1.2 which is already like really low so ideally you want to be under one, but even under two, you're still pretty good. So if I lower it down to three, we should definitely be easily, easily under one. It should be like 0, 0.0 something. It should be a very small percentage. Okay. All right. So 0 0.35. So already at this point, it's very, very good. We'll slow it down to two to see what kind of difference that makes. And then we'll finally end it with one. Okay, so 0 0.0037. So basically out of 1.2 million um, that was sent, 45 were dropped. So that's pretty, like, that's very, very little, basically. But again, I capped the speeds to 2 gigabits per second. Now we're capping at 2 gigabit speeds. So we're going to see how many were sent. So basically out of the 604,000 that were sent, three were dropped. So at this point, like you should be golden, 0.0005%, three zeros and 5% basically. All right, so let's move on to CAT7. All right, so I just connected the CAT7. We're gonna run a test with this and we should be getting right around the same speeds. So there it is. So we got 9.29, slightly, a little bit slower than the CAT8, but right around the same speeds. So now let's do the UDP packet drop test. In fact, let me just press. Okay, we'll try it. We'll start with 10. So it's going to cap it to right around 5.8, basically. 24%. So still a very big drop. I mean, a, a lot of packets are being dropped. Okay, let's slow it down to four. Let's see how well CAT7 does with four, if we cap it to four, four gigabits per second. Okay, so 1.2%, which is very, very low. So at that point, it's most things should be fine. At three, we got 0.34%. This the numbers are looking pretty similar to the CAT8 cable that we were just testing. 0.03% at 2 gigs and at a gig. Wow, we actually got 0% loss. Just connected the CAT6A, running this. This is a solid cable. Okay, so we got 9.4. Let's try the, the packet drop test. 
Okay, 24%, pretty similar to the rest. Let's try it at 4. One point three percent, pretty similar. I think the other ones were one point two percent, if I remember correctly. But so all the cables are pretty similar to each other right now. So we got point three percent, so hardly a drop. Again, at at point three percent, it's it's so small that in most cases it's not going to matter. So we got at this is hardly a drop. So 82 packets were dropped out of 1.2 million that were sent. So very, very low. And let's try it at gigabit. Let's see what happens with gigabit. Okay, so seven packets were dropped. Again, very, very low for sending 604,000. So, all right, I just connected the CAD6. We're gonna do a speed test on the CAD6. Okay, maybe I should have waited just a bit because this first one was slow, but that's not... I should have waited just a bit longer. Let's, let's retest that one. Yeah. Sometimes if I don't wait just long enough from connecting it, like the first one is a little bit slow, I feel like it's like trying to connect. Uh, but yeah, this, this is fine, 9.4, just like the rest. Okay, so let's try the UDP. Yeah, I, I want to be fair and just wait like a few seconds before doing it. I, um, okay, so we got 24%, uh, very similar to the rest. Let's try limiting into four. So, so as of now, all the cables are pretty similar. 1.3, I think the CAT 6A was 1.3 and I thought the other two were 1.2. If I'm remembering correctly. So let's see how well this is 0.35%. Again, under one is is golden. Unless you're playing like super, super, super competitive gaming, under 1% should be fine. And I mean check this out. 0 0.0063. So 76 packets were dropped out of the 1.2. 1.2 million that were sent. That's such a small number. So at that point, I mean, you're fine. Like everything that's being sent is being received, basically. And uh, okay, so this one was, again, very small, um, but 28. Technically a little worse than the other ones, but I mean, these numbers are so small that they're roughly around the same. Now we get to Cat 5e. All right, I just connected the cat 5 I waited a few seconds, so we're gonna kick it off now. So yeah, so we get the right around the same speeds. Oh, there was a drop, 5.74. So cat 5 e was technically, let, let's run it again, but technically not as good as the others. I, I If there is a drop on the first one, it's because I didn't wait long enough, oh yeah. 5.62. Interesting. Again, there's another drop. I mean, the cable's all coiled up, but all the other cables were coiled up as well. Okay, this one, there was no drop, but but the other two, were there were drops, so... Interesting. This showed it where... where yeah, now, now let's, let's see if... Let's do one more. Let's see if it's consistent. I mean, I gave it enough time. I mean, it looks like it's fine now, but interesting. Granted, Cat 5e is technically rated for gigabit speeds at up to 100 meters, and the fact that it's getting you know almost 10 gigs is already pretty impressive. But still, technically, 26% loss, not great. Just like the rest, similar to the rest. Let's see if it's going to be like, okay, 1.3. So it's it's pretty similar to the rest other than that, um, those spikes over there where, like the down spike or whatever you want to call it, where it's not as fast. And then this is pretty low. Let's try the two.
Okay, 0.01%. Let's try the one. Again, all the all the cables I tested are coiled up because they should be able to reach the 10 gig speeds. And uh, oh, we got zero percent loss on this one. So the Cat 5 e was. Let's let's do one more on this, but technically it wasn't as fast as the rest. But now it looks like now it is getting the 9.4s. I don't see that down spike. Um, but the fact that it can go this fast is already pretty impressive that because Cat 5 e is not, you know, technically it's rated for up to gigabit speeds at the 100 meter mark. And the fact that it's getting very fast speeds and it looks like it's consistently doing it now where the first two, there were some spikes, but it's worth noting it was there. I mean, all the cables are pretty similar to each other overall. If we zoom out and just kind of look at them, the packet drop tests were very similar to each other too. I was honestly expecting the CAT6A, um, 7 and 8 to do a little bit better than the rest, but it looks like they're pretty similar to each other. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Um, if you guys have other suggestions, let me know that as well. So I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, hit the like, you know, share this video if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.